welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to talk about the three things that I did wrong when I first started working out. Now obviously you learn more from your mistakes than you do from uh, no mistakes. But pretty much yeah, if you do something wrong and you learn from it, you're not going to do it wrong again. So these are the three main things that uh, I did wrong that I go back in time and tell myself to do properly. Uh, I had more than likely to do it. So the first one was just simply not tracking calories. You need to track your calorie intake and how much you burn off. So you can calculate how much calories are going in and get a rough estimate of how many are going out. You're going to be able to easily work out whether you're going to go up or down in weight and you can choose the direction you want to go in. It's as simple as that. Now you don't need to be dead on like uh, my fitness pal. You can use that if you want to do it that way. Me, I sort of just have the same meals and I roughly know how much of the, the meals I have, how many calories they are, so I can get a rough estimate of how many calories I've eaten throughout the day and by the end of the day know how much I have eaten and if I've done enough exercise to burn enough off and everything like that. That's sort of what I do. If you want to track it down to the exact calorie, go ahead. But as long as you've got a rough idea of how many calories you are eating for weight loss or gaining muscle or whatever your goal is, uh, make sure you do track your calories. If you're tracking calories already, I would try and track protein, the amount of protein you take as well, because obviously protein helps build muscle. So make sure you're tracking how much protein you're taking in your diet as well. So as long as if I'm hitting my calorie amount and my protein amount, I'm happy. You could track all your, uh, I think it's macronutrients, my, all, all that good stuff. You could track all that for me. I'll just track the calories and the protein. That seems to be working for me so far. And I don't really want to restrict my diet to that sort of level. I do want that flexibility to enjoy what I eat and eat what I want to a certain extent. So that's why I don't really want to get involved and stress about all of that. I'll just track the calorie intake and my protein intake. Another thing that I did wrong when I first started working out was ego lifting. Now, I didn't go to the extreme. I didn't try and do like a 100 kg bench the first time I entered the gym. I'm not a complete idiot, at least not right now anyway. But know your limits. When you first start, I would definitely recommend just focusing on your form and making sure you're um, activating the correct muscles, using the uh, correct muscle groups, uh, the correct forms, so you're not injuring yourself. And once you've got all of that nailed down, then slowly start working your way up to those higher weights. That's what I definitely recommend. For me, I definitely didn't focus on the form. But there's a few exercises where the right side of my body is a bit stronger, and the left side is a bit stronger than others. And only, it's only happening now that I've just started up again since I've managed to get the bench and the weights and everything like that, that I am properly focusing on form and activating the correct muscle groups and improving that mind-muscle connection essentially. So yeah, that's something I wish I started at the start. As for the third and final thing that I recommend you guys to do when you just start working out is self-explanatory. Do not skip leg day. <laughs> I found that more than ever now that I don't have any leg machines obviously because the gyms aren't open. I can sort of do squats I guess at home or I could do a couple different things but it's not like the best. I'm noticing more than ever now that I'm training every other part of my body and I'm seeing the, the gains come back. The legs, not so much. Now I do quite a lot of biking, so I guess that could help. But as soon as the gym's open, I'm going to be hitting leg day two or three times a week just to catch up on what I've missed really because I wish I started it at the beginning. And for those of you that maybe don't know, obviously legs can be a huge benefit for gaining muscle and size and everything like that because the testosterone that's produced when you do a good leg session uh, fuels your body and can help you in your other workouts as well, maybe another day. So that's why you should really aim for leg days at least twice a week, especially when you just start to sort of get everything flowing and get everything going. And also keeping that balance and making sure that your legs are complete twigs. Because nobody wants a huge upper body and then twig legs. So do yourself a favour and don't skip leg day. Simple as that. Yeah, those are the three things that I did wrong when I uh, started working out. Everybody's going to make mistakes, that's fine. Hopefully you guys can learn from my mistakes. If you guys have any of your own, Make sure you drop them in the comments below. I'm obviously still learning, still making mistakes, but that'll happen and that's just life, so I'm just gonna accept that. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you leave a like rating and uh, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys later.